Hi guys and welcome back to my channel y'all um no that's not what I wanted to say hi guys and welcome back to my channel I know I know I'm giving you a lot everything today I'm giving you a lot shoulder come on and that shoulder for you and I showed up here. Okay, we're gonna stop that. So guys, we know that it's getting to that time of the year, you know, we're in December and we're thinking about all the, we're really deep in this 2020. And you know, for, I don't know about you guys, but obviously the thoughts of, you know, what have I done this year? You know, reflection on how the year has been for you. And obviously number one, you know, we've been in a global pandemic. And if you're in the UK, <laughs> we've been, let me talk to you about the UK. The UK has been inside the pan. It's been in the pandemic, but there's been a pandemic inside that pan pandemic. That's the real, real, real. There's been two pandemics in the UK because, well, the UK is moving mad, and and I can't get into that right now. Because they, before they come and say my video is violence or whatever they want to come and say it is, but the UK is in multiple pandemics. But yeah, so back to what I was saying. We've been thinking about how our 2020 has gone. And I just kind of wanted to come on here and encourage you guys not to over overdo it because we've it's been a tough year. Obviously, shout out to everybody that has had major wins because for a lot of us, okay, not a lot. Mm, I don't know. I don't know the world. But for some people, this year has actually been their best year yet in terms of financially, mentally, spiritually, everything. So obviously, we're not going to take away your win. Um, but for some of you that you know, you wrote your goals and your plans for 2020 and you know they didn't come to pass number one let me quickly remind you your plans are your plans but at the end of the day god's plan <laughs> god's plan it overrides every all our all our plans so some of the plans that we may have you know written down may have been our own thoughts and our own for our own desires which doesn't always come to pass so you know if you're one of those people that you know the year hasn't gone to plan in terms of you know the things you wanted to do the things you wanted to see you're alive so i think being alive is such an underrated blessing that a lot of us has clearly taken for granted because the fact that you're here watching this video is a reason to be grateful, to be thankful. We've been in a pandemic. So many, so many people have lost their life this year and we don't take it for granted, you know, that we're alive or we don't take it to mock those that have died or we don't take it to mean that we're better than those that have died. Not at all. We're still here. We're still standing by the grace of God. So that's a, that's an accomplishment in itself. The fact that you can speak, you can eat, you can talk, that is an accomplishment. The fact that you still have dreams, you still have hope, because I think, I think a lot of people have, you know, their mental health has really been tampered with this year. So if you're a person that you're of sound mind, that you're, you know, you're still able to laugh, you're still able to be joy joyful, baby girl, baby boy, that's an accomplishment. And for those exactly that have started a new thing, you know, whether it's, you know, they've gained a new skill, they've learned, you know, they've opened a new business, they found a new job, we celebrate you over here. So I just really wanted to come on here and say that no matter what you have accomplished, big or small, you have accomplished enough by being here. Hello? You have accomplished a lot by just being here. Just making it to December, whatever the date this video comes out, by making it to that date, is an accomplishment and so obviously I don't want I also want to encourage us not to lose hope for the new year by God's grace we will all make it to the new year and I think one thing um, you know we should continue to have is have hope have hope that tomorrow will be better have hope that next week will be better have hope that next year will be better have hope that it doesn't have to end here for the fact that you're still alive mean God is God is still doing something in your life he still wants you here for a reason so even if this year hasn't banged it hasn't slapped we pray that in the new year God is still gonna have his way in our life and that we can see the fruits of our labor if that makes sense I think for a lot of us this 2020 is a year of um labor and you know working hard you know whether it be working hard on your mental health whether it be working hard on your relationship whether it be working hard on your career you know your skill set if that's what you've done you know you've managed to achieve and accomplish this year it's just you know going the extra mile in your chosen field or going the extra mile in your family in your own personal life 
I pray that 2021 you see the fruits of that if you weren't able to see the fruits of that this year um and yeah like I think we should definitely be hopeful about 2021 but obviously I'm not here to come and you know prophesy and tell you look 2020 it's gonna be your year I mean 2021 it's gonna be everything you lost in 2020 you're gonna regain it in 2021 because listen if you don't go and regain it to that 2021 don't come and call my name but I do believe that you should still be hopeful that God will the same God that has brought you through 2020 is the same God that will come and take you into that 2021 God willing um, and so yeah I just really wanted to just quickly encourage you guys to not be too down about the things that you may or may not have accomplished this year like I said you just being here is such a it's a great accomplishment you being able to have family is a beautiful accomplishment you if you have friends it's a you know you've had good solid friends the past couple of months you've accomplished more than some people if you're able to have a roof over your head you've accomplished more if you're able to eat every single day that's an accomplishment and all those people that have celebrated big things whether it be you started a YouTube channel you started um, you know you started something this year we applaud you we applaud you and for all of us that have been fighting battles um, in silence I want to publicly applaud you as well because I think we also get to a point where we're not always able to share how we feel with everybody but you know some of us we you know we've fought some silent battles <laughs> some silent warfares that our friends and family don't know about so I applaud you for you know you know getting through those those times where nobody has seen you cry nobody has seen you lash out nobody has seen you relive your trauma nobody has seen you you know go through all of that hurt on your own but you did and you know you've come out and even if you haven't come out yet i am praying um for healing i am praying for breakthrough i'm, pr I'm praying for you to come out of that and testify um to what you've been through so i just really wanted to say that you are your own accomplishment hello that's it you are your own accomplishment for 2020 um and that should be enough don't let anybody tell you you did do this you're not married you don't have kids you don't have a business you don't have all those things will come when the lord permits it to come all those things will happen if it's in if it's written in your life for it to happen it will happen if you're gonna be a billionaire it will happen if you're gonna be a millionaire it will happen if you're gonna you know grow in your walk it will happen all those things will happen when the lord permits it to happen thank you so much guys for watching this quick video i hope you are encouraged i hope you are blessed see you guys in my next video